so USJCHF it may take support at this level and go up but currently in downtrend and uh, yeah I don't want to take the trade right now it will take us some repulse back and go down so I'm not going to look into this today now going back in oh, oh, Euro and ZD Euro AUD weekly bullish bullish daily uh -huh. daily bullish our four wow our four is very good our one our one this one did i take this euro aud yesterday i don't know coming back euro aud uh -huh. So I think this one area, say rectangle, and this is the area of support resistance. So, yep. I'll wait for it to come. Ah, uh, wait, your AOD. Oof, so much pollution right now here. So much pollution. I'm having so much pollution here. You are. Are. AUD at 50 EMA or nothing. So, the best strategy to save the money in trading is not to trade. This is not said by me, sorry. This is said by a professional trader. I'm just following their rules and trying to make some profit. Okay, it's an uptrend weekly taking the support at some level daily. It made a good, it made a double top. Oh, hot tweezer Euro CAD. I think I made profit in Euro CAD today. Euro CAD, yep, I made profit. And this today is also going up. Let me find one entry point at this level. So, we trade today. Let's see. I already have one one running that is GBP CAD. Okay, your GBP weekly downtrend, daily downtrend, hour four downtrend, hour one. It broke the zone going down, going down. Nothing to see. I don't like this chart right now. GBP and JD. Woof. 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 I think I took profit in this one yesterday. You our four in day one, it's made a good candle. Good morning star, it will go up. So, in our four, perfect bottom. Our one, I need a good entry point right now. I don't want to take that like that uh, trade on day basis. I need a good entry point. At R1 Euro and NJD. Now coming to Euro GBP, aside so from Euro USD, it broke out of the zone. Yep, yesterday, uh, this, uh, what is this one? This London. So I'm thinking right now that I should trade two market. First is uh, morning market, Europe market, sorry, Tokyo market, second, London market. Uh, yeah. 
one second let me see the three market right new york market my mistake my mistake my stupidity so i want to trade two market first asia market second new york market this is what i'm thinking right now so because new york, new, new york market is also showing some good probability so our for day one our four it is showing a good buy signal our one i need one good more entry point it's i missed this entry point yesterday euro ust entry point if i find a good entry point i will enter otherwise i will not euro jpy wow this is what i wanted to see right now weekly uptrend it is going up uh day up hour four it is an uptrend you can see here so in within a range now here it is trying to break the range so last support was the this uh, bottom tweezer and top tweezer now it is forming a bottom tweezer and i will take this trade Although I'm a little but whatever. So it will buy my stop loss at 16 pips. And my actual point is here 100 to 200. So it will be somewhat here. So if I go to our four, so this is 16, and this will be. Let's take a profit somewhat here. Okay, so this is my stop loss of uh, how many pips? Stop loss of 239 pips. So profit of approximately 1 to 1. I'm taking 1 to 1 ratio. 16 and uh, 18 okay one is to one something ratio i entered late it's my mistake so we entered at this point oh my god sorry sorry should i exit right now should i exit right now should i exit right now please 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 tell me to exit right now please ask this i'm exiting right now so because what are my rules i made one rookie mistake my first is following a trend yep it is a, a support risk level yes it is is it at 21 or 50 ema no it is not so i will not take this trade does a candlestick pattern validate the entry so okay my first loss of the day is one and a half dollar Oof. But whatever weekly daily hour four daily it is within a range and it is going down hour one and see anything here going to gbp gbp aud i am tired right now so at 21 EMA, it formed a very good morning star. GP AUD weekly, it is sorry, I can't trade weekly. It's a too big risk. In daily, also, it formed a huh, huh, morning star and it is an uptrend weekly. Wow, our four, our one. I will trade this on daily daily basis. Bye. My trade here will be on daily basis. My stop loss will be below this candle, which is 100 pips. This 16, 80 pips. In dollar, it is 100 dollar. 108 dollar means 216. 200 approx 16. One is two ratio. Yep, here around somewhere. So I'm taking trade on daily basis. GBCAD. 
so here i have to be traded on daily basis and uh, jpaut gpcad bought on daily basis this is still going we will wait gbjb is nothing or do nothing i am tired i am not going to take any more trade and no analysis <laughs> since i do why did i say that no analysis huh? gbb and jt it shows a good promising candle now it took me the hammer and second this candle i will place my trade and put the uh, hour four hour one mm. below this this is 3931 am i 3931 will be this one right 39 3 3 9 3 9 3 1 somewhere here or 4 UNJT on hourly four. I'm taking a trade. The stop loss will be here. Approx. Yep, fifty-two dollar. Oh my god! And profit will be around hundred dollar then. Our next support level, which is yeah, hundred dollar. Okay. I don't think it will allow me to take any more trade because my free margin is of ninety two dollar right now. So it may allow GP UST nothing. I'm it in uptrend it in London session it was a good time to take trade, but London session I'm not feeling good actually. I don't know why. It is a range. Okay. So now let's see the chart. 